You're still watching the breakfast show. It's time to take a look at happenings in the world of sports. And we we'll start with football, where the Super Eagles continued their preparation for the African Cup of Nations to be hosted by Cameroon with two trading sessions at the main bowl of the Moshud Abiola Stadium in Abuja as more invited players arrived at the team's camp. The players who trained under the watchful eyes of interim coach Austin de Guavouin will hold two training sessions each day before departing the country for Cameroon on Wednesday. The tournament kicks off on Sunday after a one-year delay due to the coronavirus outbreak and restrictions. The Super Eagles play in Group D alongside seven-time champions, the Pharaohs of Egypt, Sudan and fellow West Africans, Guinea-Bissau. We've had two sections, one this morning, one this afternoon. And the six boys in camp have uh, responded well. Still awaiting a whole lot of them too. But we're always in constant touch with them, the communication. And we're expecting, uh, well, they are not just staying because they don't want to be here. Because they have uh, an obligation, they have a commitment. They have to play the last league games before they come by. So everything is going well so far. It's been a... Uh... A wonderful atmosphere in the camp. Everyone is uh, prepared. We're preparing uh, with a few players that are in the camp right now. And training section has been good. Everyone is giving his best. And the coach will we're doing well with the coach as well. He's doing a good job. And um, we're hoping to get more players as soon as possible so we can have a full team and prepare for, for, for the AFCON like very properly. Well, uh, it's been a great session. Uh, two times a day since we resumed in, into the camp. Uh, it's been a nice training session with different drills, getting us into the rhythm and getting prepared for the games. Media manager of the Super Eagles, Baba Femiraji, will be joining us shortly as we take a look at the biggest brand when it comes to sports in the country, Nigeria. And Baba Femiraji, um, let's take a look at the preparation for the AFCON tournament. In the next 24 hours, the Super Eagles should be bidding Nigerians goodbye as they indeed jet out to Cameroon. And we understand that the captain of the side is also in the team's camp. Um, can you give us updates on um, the Super Eagles out there in Abuja? Yeah, good morning, me and yeah, um, yeah, you're right. Uh, Akman Musa is in camp. He trained yesterday with the rest of the squad. Um, the team trained yesterday evening uh, at the Moshida Abiola Stadium in Abuja, right here. And it was a wonderful training, intense one. Our training continues today in the evening as well. There will be no training this morning. Uh, we've got uh, at 10 a.m. We've got a COVID-19 test to take our PCR test to take, and afterwards uh, we have a, a press conference. Uh, the last before we depart today It's going to be virtual, basically virtual. Maybe a few uh, media houses here, just like five, physically present, but the rest uh, will, will be virtual to be streamed live via NFF's uh, our social media channels, and. Later today, we will have training in the evening at 5 p.m. You know, it's the eve of our departure for the competition venue, that is Cameroon. So, um, basically, no training this morning, but uh, we are very much on course. We expect more arrivals today. In fact, today, camp will swell or will double hmm. today. We should have virtually everyone uh, around today. 26 players, 28 players, all players will arrive today because we'll be leaving for Garua tomorrow. Well, Femi, you made mention of um, having the COVID test um, at about 10 a.m. today. Um, what has it been like in terms of training? Um, the training was opened for media coverage yesterday and um, part of um, the criteria was that um, you should um, come with um, uh, um, a COVID-19 negative test um, form of confirmation. Um, how challenging has this been when we also know that um, countries preparing for the AFCON tournament in Cameroon have been having positive COVID-19 cases? Yeah, we're very much aware of this. Uh, like I've always hoped, uh, we are in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, but we realize football is a media event. Um, 
Remember on Assumption of Office, uh, we said we will bridge the gap between uh, the media and the team. We'll get the team closer to the people. And which other uh, way can we adopt to get uh, the team closer to Nigerians but the media? Um, we are a media-friendly brand. Uh, uh, the Super Eagles remains a big brand, uh, the biggest uh, export Nigeria has after uh, crude oil. And um, we must let people feel this brand. And that is why we keep projecting them through using the media. We thank everyone. Uh, it, 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 not really challenging. We thank everybody in the media for the cooperation we had yesterday. Um, we gave the notice early enough in the morning uh, before the evening training uh, just to ensure that any time you have to have contact with the team. Like today, you, there will still be a subtle media access. So anyone that is coming to watch our training, fellow members of the media, must come with their COVID-19 uh, vaccination cards. And not just that, or, sh or perhaps show or not. If, if you don't have that, show us a uh, negative PCR test spanning maximum 72 hours uh, for us coupled with your valid means of id and fully uh masked your face mask and you maintain social distancing uh, we know the challenges we've had uh talking about uh, uh here and then other things as well so we're trying to prevent as much as possible any incidents at all and uh, we want to thank everyone for the cooperation members of the media for cooperating with us uh because um you know it's our team and we want to ensure we have no incidents at all. We want to go there with, our, with full complements of our players so that we can focus where with this, so that the issues of COVID will not come up at all. And then we play our game, we're six round champions, and we're all happy that uh, there's no, <laughs> no COVID okay. issues. So it's been, it's been okay in terms of adherence to COVID-19 protocols. It's been very strict here in camp. Interesting. On a final note, Femi, you know, you keep calling them that um, when it comes to resources um, after crude oil, um, this is um, one thing Nigeria can indeed boast of, um, the talent, the array of stars, you know, paraded by the most populous black nation on earth. And um, I call them the true ambassadors, you know, for Nigeria. Any time um, confirmation for departure and um, uh, will the team be departing uh, via the Inabia Zipo International Airport in Abuja or Lagos? It will be Abuja, of course. <laughs> we can go to Lagos then get back <laughs> to Garua. It will be Abuja uh, at night. Uh, no confirmation of the time yet, but it will be later at night uh, today. So it means we will train. And uh, sorry, uh, tomorrow. Excuse me. It means uh, there's every likelihood we will get a training session tomorrow. Be not likely we will train tomorrow before we depart for Garua. It's just a 45 minute trip from Abuja to Garua. Everything has been cleared already for us. Remember, the president of the NFF, uh, Mr. Majibabu Pini, confirmed that the landing permit had already been gotten weeks ago. So it means all is clear. We'll be traveling via chartered uh, flights. Uh, and of course, we know Nigerians are already there, even waiting to welcome the darling team or, or the champions elect. I'm talking <laughs> about the Super Eagles. That's interesting, you know. I appreciate that. Champions elect, and I'm um, from Yaounde, you know, to Garua, the northern part of Cameroon, where former CAF president Isa Ayatu was born. Indeed, they should be expecting the Super Eagles stars come tomorrow. Many thanks, media manager Super Eagles. Baba Femirajin for talking to us on the breakfast show on TVC. You're welcome, man.